Hello, yes. In this series, examining the accents of Westeros, as featured in the TV show, well, you know the drill by now. This week, it's time to have a look at the Maesters, those weird, probably celibate raven wranglers who seem to hold a high seat of office in every major city and castle in the land. Maester Aemon Targaryen, the erstwhile heir to the throne and brother of Egg from the Duncan Egg stories, is a very old man who has been Maester of the Night's Watch seemingly forever. He speaks with a faltering RP accent. But when I heard they had killed my brother's son and his poor son and the children, even the little children. Who are you? Grand Maester Pycelle, a conniving old sod that has a major hard-on for both House Lannister and Ladies of the Night, speaks in an affected old man RP voice most of the time. Except when he feels the need to drop the act, then he sounds much more sure of himself. Never! No, it's a falsehood! I swear it! It wasn't me! These are your new chambers. A little cramped, perhaps, but you don't need much room, do you? Maester Lewin of Winterfell is a kindly old man who chews his bran and has a nice line in dry humour when it comes to Theon. Also speaks in an RP accent. Notice a theme starting to build here. Words we do not sow. Lords? The Greyjoys. Famed for their skills at archery, navigation and lovemaking. <laughs> and failed rebellions. Maester Cresson has a wonderful voice. Yes, it's RP, and it's a shame we don't see more of him. Since that boar killed his brother, every lord wants a coronation. I don't serve the others. I serve Stannis. As do I. But loyal service means telling hard truths. Maester Walken has his good mood cut short when Ramsay rather rudely stabs his father Roos to death right in front of him. How did he die? This citadel maester that gives Sam a hard time when he arrives is, I believe, dubbed over, as the actor is Danish. Feels off, and the voice actor they use sounds standardly posh. The archmaester will discuss these irregularities with you. In the meantime, you are permitted to use the library. Follow me. No women or children. Ebros, the Archmaester of the Citadel, is played by Jim Broadbent in super kindly mode. Well-spoken Southern accent. We are this world's memory, Samuel Tarly. Without us, men would be little better than dogs. Don't remember any meal but the last. Can't see forward to any but the next. And every time you leave the house and shut the door, they howl like you're gone forever. Finally, we have Kyburn, the disgraced former maester and basically a necromancer in as much as this setting allows. Speaks in a kindly, very RP accent, which he maintains whether he's tending to the injured or having people put to death. I've more important things to do with my time than waste them in Please, the presence. Please, Maester, I bear you no ill will. Please forgive me if you can. Overall, I'm giving the maesters six lanced Lewins out of seven. I'm docking a point for the weird dubbing job they did with the Citadel Maester. Join me next time when we'll be casting a critical eye at the wall and those brave fellows that man it. Bye then.